Hi everyone, Yas Saskia Carlos Tirtata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a Mediterranean red lentil soup that's going to be creamy, comforting, nutritious, delicious, and ready in like 30 minutes. Maybe even under 30 minutes. So easy to make. Let's get started. We're going to begin by finely chopping an onion, then I'm going to add it to my soup pot. Then I have a handful of these baby carrots here, but you can use two whole carrots that have been peeled. Then go ahead and dice them and add those to the pot as well. Add a quarter of a cup of olive oil and a, and a little pinch of salt and let the onions and carrots cook until they're nice and soft and tender. That's going to take about 10 minutes or so. While the onions and carrots are cooking, go ahead and rinse out your lentils. You're going to need two cups of lentils. That's almost a pound. It's about 14 ounces or almost 400 grams. Rinse them a few times under cold running water and then let them sit in cool water until you're ready to add them. As soon as the onions and carrots are nice and soft, go ahead and add the lentils, drain out that water, add the lentils, season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I also like to add a half a teaspoon or so of crushed red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat. One cup of crushed tomatoes, I like to buy them canned, but you can definitely grate up fresh tomatoes and just add a cup of that to the soup. And then about six or seven cups of water or vegetable broth. I hardly ever buy vegetable broth, so I'm adding water today. If you're not worried about keeping this vegetarian, you could definitely add some chicken stock if you wanted to. Give it a nice mix, bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to medium and let it cook for about 20 minutes on the stovetop until the lentils are nice and tender and the soup is nice and thick. Then it's time to blend it. If you have an immersion blender, it's going to be perfect because you don't have to transfer everything to a regular blender. I don't have an immersion blender, so I'm going to do this in two batches and tr carefully transfer the soup to my Vitamix blender. Then go ahead and make sure that you, you leave a little bit of room for the steam to escape before you start blending so that way you don't get burned. Blend it until it's nice and smooth. If you don't want it smooth, you could leave the soup as is. I just like it. It's just much more creamier if you blend it. So go ahead and blend that in two or three batches, however much fits in your blender. Return everything back to the pot. Give it a nice mix and taste it. If it needs more salt or pepper, this is the time to add it. I also add at this point half a teaspoon of thyme. I like to use dry thyme and a heaping teaspoon of dried oregano. And I just return it to the heat over medium low until it warms through a little bit and all of the flavors marry together. And that's it. The soup is ready to be served. I like to put this in a bowl and crumble some feta cheese on top, a little drizzle of olive oil. Lemons are really nice with this. Maybe slice up some lemon wedges and serve it on the side. Olives are also amazing with this as well as toasted bread. It's time for the taste test. Mm. Red lentils are so mild. They're creamy. They really go well with almost all flavors. So you can definitely go a little bit spicier in this. It's so comforting and delicious. Perfect for those cooler days that are ahead. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you want to print it out, head on over to the website, DimitrisDishes.com. If you want to learn how to make more soups like a chicken of Golemono, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.